70,000 subscribers. Hello everybody and what is going on? 70,000 sub... 70,000... No, 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 no. 70,000 subscribers. That is insane. Firstly, I just want to give a big, massive shout out to you guys. This is a big moment. This is our biggest milestone yet. 70,000. Fam, fam, I still can't get over it. I am actually gassed. So thank you. 70,000. Bro, come on. This channel has already grown far beyond my expectations. I started this YouTube channel in 2015 and I was just talking about clothes that I liked. I was going to London a lot. I went to Supreme. I went to Palace. I liked streetwear. I liked sneakers. I liked the entire culture as a whole. And I decided to make YouTube videos about it. Fast forward to 2018, we have this massive friendly community you guys are the actual best by the way and it's just been an overall madness like i'm still debating how to actually celebrate 70,000 subscribers i know i did mention it in my instagram like how should we celebrate the 70,000? i i'm still looking for ideas so if you've got any suggestions please leave them in the comment section down below speaking of instagram plug i put up an instagram post earlier this week asking people to ask to ask for the 70k special q a because it is youtube tradition to do a Q&A video every single milestone. So here we are fulfilling our obligations. We live in a society. We got over 200 comments. It's mad, it's mad, it's mad. But don't get discouraged if I don't answer your question. I do a lot of Instagram live Q&As, Instagram story Q&As, these types of YouTube Q&A videos. I do answer the DMs where I can. And of course, there's always the comment section down below, which I always check. And if you really want the inside track, I'm on Twitter as well at sickmate plug you can find me on any of those social medias waffle gang gang cozy boys let's get into it favorite fashion youtubers this may sound a bit biased but i'm really feeling sanja's videos recently especially like the whole diy thing that he's doing like the whole recreating needle shirt type thing i thought that was really really cool sanj if you're watching this make me one of them shirts magnus is always up there as well the most honest fashion youtuber of them all and of course i can't forget the gang chop suey payday pickups Edward Tate, Hoxton Trend. It's mad, it's mad. Tell you what, let's communicate. Let me know in the comment section down below who your favorite fashion YouTuber is. How much do you think music and fashion cross each other? And how do you think each one influences the other? Now, personally, I think that music and fashion go hand in hand, more so than ever before, especially rap and hip hop. Like you've got Kanye with the whole Yeezy movement. You've got ASAP Rocky, who's basically a fashion icon. Jaden Smith, again, fashion icon. You've got Skepta dating Naomi Campbell. You've got Tyler the Creator with his whole fashion movement. Golf Wang, Golf de Fleur. Normally at high profile catwalks, you'll see celebrities, mainly rappers and artists in the front row seats of those events. So it is fair to say that music and fashion are two peas in a pod. What's something crazy you do to your hair? Crazy cut or dye job? Now, this is something that I've been playing around with for ages now. If you don't know, my hair grows at an incredible rate. Quick flashback, I shaved all of my hair off back in September and had all of my hair basically back by January. It was mad. So the craziest thing that I've ever done was probably like the entire buzz cut. That whole process was a mad Thing. But before that, I was sort of playing around with the idea of getting dreads. I might even make that my 100,000 subscriber thing, like I'll do something drastic with the hair. But dreads was always something that I wanted to play around with. I just haven't got around to that yet. But if you've got any ideas of how I should do my hair, leave your comments in the comment section down below. In one of your videos, you said that you used to wear super skinny jeans and whatnot. Now that you're more into baggy jeans and trousers as such, what made you decide to change from skinny to more loose cut jeans and trousers? Also, by the way, loved your videos, dude. So inspirational and helps me a lot with my style. Big ups to you. Firstly, thank you, big up yourself. And secondly, I made the jump from skinny jeans to more baggier, straight fit jeans. Admittedly, when it was cool to do so, when it was more of a trend, skinny jeans were phasing out straight cut jeans for the next big thing. But since then, I kind of incorporate both styles. Before summer, I was wearing skinnier jeans someday, slim jeans the other days, and straight jeans as well. So it just kind of depends what kind of mood I'm in, what kind of silhouette I'm looking for. And that's a little bit of fashion advice that I want to give off to other people. Don't give yourself just one fit of jean. If you want to change up the silhouette a little bit, get an 
array of jeans, get some skinny jeans, some slim jeans, some straight jeans, some tailored jeans, and just see how it will complement your outfit or change the tone of it, because it really does make a big difference. If you were an anime character, who would you be? If I could choose to be any anime character, it would be Seto Kaiba. Why won't you notice me, senpai? Gominasai. What is one piece of clothing you would like to see come back or even remade? Now this is a really good question and one I'm going to skew a little bit because there is something that I want to get remade but it isn't an item of clothing. It is a sneaker that Nike did back in the 80s slash 90s. It was a tennis shoe called the Nike Air Alphas or just the Nike Alphas, I'm not entirely sure. But they were the sickest shoe that I've ever seen. I've only ever seen one person wear them and that was at Crep City like three years ago now. But this shoe is something that I would want to see come back. I've wanted this shoe to come back for ages now. So hold tight the alphas. What are your thoughts on the 80s in terms of fashion and music? Fashion wise, I think the 80s was very colorful, crazy. There's so many different designs and patterns going on. That whole era of fashion wasn't afraid to use color and just go absolutely mad with it. Music wise though, Imagine a big block of cheese that is 80s music. I love 80s music, but only in very, very small doses. If you could be any Adventure Time character, who would you be? I would be Marceline the Vampire Queen. I think she is maximum edgelord. And just because that one clip that's been censored now, but there is this bit where she's arguing with Princess Bubblegum and she just straight up spits in her face. I'm talking, bruv. The disrespect. What is your favorite Studio Ghibli movie? Now, everyone is going to say Spirited Away, but I have to ban that because that is a bait answer. It is the correct answer, but if it wasn't Spirited Away, it would be Princess Mononoke. I have asked this a few times on DM Q and A's, but always get nosed. Mud, gominasai. How can you be baggy boys, cozy boys when you're a little manlet and an XL hits my knees? There's a simple solution to this. Just get a smaller size. If an XL is over, over, oversized, just go a size up so it's a little bit less oversized. How old are you? And the answer to this is. Twin current favorite aftershave, Jean-Paul Gartier. If anyone from this company is watching, please sponsor me with a lifetime supply of this stuff. I wear it pretty much every single day. I have gone nose blind to this stuff, but send more please. Opinions on the Nike TNs. Culturally in the UK, the TNs are a very important shoe, especially in the grime scene. And I don't know why I don't actually own a pair yet, but they're on my list of things to get. What style would you like to try out? A style that I'd really like to get into is like Ricky Thompson slash Sanjay type style. Like a lot of accessories, bold strokes in fashion, really trendy, I absolutely love it. Fashion icons, best dressed YouTubers. When's the next Ken Kayo drop? Bam, I've been putting off the whole Ken Kayo movement for a while now, but it is on its way. Like there's no more slacking around. How tall are you? I am five foot eight, small man tings. I'm definitely not one of those guys that puts their height in their Twitter bio. What do you think about fashion pages on Insta? What do you like and dislike about them the most? Firstly, I absolutely love fashion pages, especially Little Jupiter, Fashion Fuckery, Cashed, just to name a few. I've done a whole video on fashion Instagram pages that I like. Plug, the one thing that I like about them is that you always find something new on those pages, whether it be a new model, a new brand, a new aesthetic as it were. And the one thing that I don't like about fashion Instagram pages is the whole credit wars. Oh, you didn't credit this person. And then it just becomes a big massive drama. Slash the fact some pages just take it a little bit too seriously. What is your honest opinion on the best dressed YouTuber awards? And congratulations on 70K. You fully deserve it for working so hard and providing some of the best fashion based content. Firstly, thank you, big up. And secondly, you want me to talk about the BDYs, yeah? So for the past month, I have been joking around that I'm salty about not being in the Best Dressed YouTuber Awards. In reality, I'm not salty at all. The whole facade of me being salty about it was literally just me having a bit of fun, having a joke. I couldn't be happier with how it all went down. The three people that I wanted in the finals were in the finals. You had Sanj, Ricky, and Magnus. Doing the absolute most, spoiler alert, Ricky won it in the end. But again, that's nothing to do with anyone. That's just like the judge's decision. It's all about the public opinion. And last but not least, a question that got seven likes. If ASAP Mob and Odd Future got into an arena and fought to the death, who would win? To which someone replied, is that even a question? And that is all we have time for. 
for today's Q&A session. So again, I just want to give a big massive shout out to all of you guys. 70,000 subscribers would not be possible without you. I am so gassed. If you told me three years ago that you were going to have 70,000 subscribers, I wouldn't have believed you. I just would have sat there and be like, nah man, allow it. You're chatting. How did you even get here? You time traveler. Mad. Again, I'm still looking for ideas on how to celebrate 70,000 subscribers. So leave your ideas in the comment section down below. And if you've got any other questions that you want me to answer, again, leave them in the comment section down below. And that is actually where I'm going to end today's video. So if you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you want to subscribe and see more of what I do, because I do a lot of fashion based stuff, lifestyle based stuff and style based stuff, then you can by using a subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this web page here. Share this video with your friends, Waffle Gang Gang, Cozy Boys, you done though. And now that is everything. Bye.